be in the pack here. Sorry for the late video. I um had to catch up on a lot of sleep because I, you know, in my last video I said I, for some reason, stayed up all night doing homework. <laughs> Found out I didn't even have to do all that, so I stressed myself out for no reason. But it's all good because um I'm still happy, but more or less about my personal life. Uh, so if you've seen the last plans, I didn't lose any weight, but that's okay. Didn't gain weight, didn't lose weight, that's fine. As long as we don't go up, you know. Sometimes we have weigh-ins where I didn't really lose any weight. As long as it ain't like that one weigh-in where I drunk a lot of hot chocolate and I go up, we'll be fine. But right now, that's perfectly fine. Some days I don't lose any weight, some days I lose six pounds, some days three, some days it's one, it's two. You know, it's okay. Most important is we're losing a lot of weight and to be quite honest, we are way ahead of the pack. Like we lost almost as I'm not sure how many weeks is it in a month? It's like what it's fifty six weeks in a year. I said weeks in a month. It's fifty six weeks in a year and I lost fifty one pounds and and naturally, you're only supposed to lose one pound a week. We almost lost a year's worth of weight in three months. So, we're way ahead of the curve. <laughs> um, I know my goal is to actually lose 100 pounds in a year. But, you know, I was thinking probably like two pounds. Actually, yeah. What was I actually thinking trying to reach that goal? Two pounds a week. Wow. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, looking back at it, maybe my math was wrong when I actually took up this challenge upon myself. But, hey. I'm still be I'm still ahead of the curve regardless. So, win win. I know. It's lesson of the videos: you set high impossible goals, you might just achieve them. Actually, I, I kind of do that in my life all the time, and things seem to work out for me. So maybe I'll just keep doing that. But in any case, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, looking forward to tomorrow's video, and I can't wait to weigh in next week because I mean, we had may not have lost any weight this time around. But that just means that my body's really getting into the groove of the diet. You know, it's actually starting to settle, which I'd rather have than me lose weight and next thing you know I get like kidney failure. But I actually I don't think it's settling. I don't say I just think it's you know, just like one of those weeks. Like we had a week like that, what, in late December, regardless of the hot chocolate that one time I think. So you know, it ha happens, you know, especially with work cut cut out, you know, it could just be my body just taking that shift. Who really knows? And if that's really the case, I just need to be a smidge more active like I was at work. I just get a bike or something, you know, um, or take walks occasionally, you know. Um, I did learn that I can't work out under this diet, though. It's it's, it's a bad, bad, bad combination. Uh, let's, let's just say my body can't handle it. It's, it's, it's really weird. Like, it doesn't handle, ex I mean, it's not I can't exercise, I can't run or anything like that. It's more of like... Like, I, I, I'll be honest, I tried it one day, like, actually just doing a routine, and, like, halfway through my average workout routine, which is not even that hype, I started to feel faint. Of course, it was before I ate, but that's the thing, though. Like, if I was feeling that faint before I ate, even if after I ate, I would have blown all of my carbs I got from the Subway sandwich on the workout, and that probably wouldn't have ended well, especially if I would have done it throughout a week, you know, so... Working out the honest diet probably isn't the best idea, you know, especially if it's just one sub, two subs, I can see it, but one sub a day, no, no, no. I have to, because I have I need some to replace the calories I burnt in the workout. Not that I think I burn that much, but you get what I'm saying. It would rock the boat, and that's something, you know, like I said, this is supposed to be the lazy man's diet, so if anyone's questioning doing a workout with this for whatever reason, this diet clearly doesn't work for workout. But hey, like I said, this diet isn't all about getting fit. It's a numbers game. I'm gonna look good in the beach body, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna look good as in I'm not afraid to take off my shirt kinda good. I mean I'm an actually muscly guy, so I'm I'm probably gonna look pretty decent, better than the average person, but that's me. If anyone else is trying this, I'll tell you, don't don't expect the beach body out of this. Don't take a try and take one. Unless you gonna buy more than two more than one sandwich a day. And if I could buy more than one sandwich a day and work out, I don't know. I might. I mean, it's a nice idea to be going back to working out, which is something I want to do. But right now, I kind of like the way the diet is going. It is a lazy man's diet, though. Maybe if I get this thing kicks off a subway and I get a little fame from it, I'm able to make extra money somehow. 
I will go ahead and change it up. After all, I, I yet did say I'm gonna do things bigger and better than Jared. And I'm gonna put, I will put my money where my mouth is. Unfortunately, I don't have the money to put things in my mouth. So, like I said, if you guys really wanna help me become famous and do more bigger and better things with Subway, please spread it out there. Cause I do believe I could experiment with the subs and the ingredients and everything if I had more of the cash. Like, for example, I could eat two subs a day and add a workout plan to it. And I could see if you could get jacked off a of subway. You know, instead of just playing the numbers, I could actually gain muscle mass and gain muscle weight and become like, I don't know, maybe, for so I don't know, subway probably could be the perfect all-around diet and you could become Arnold Schwarzenegger off of it. It does have the ingredients to do it. I mean, you wouldn't, I didn't think it had the ingredients to lose weight, and here I am. So for I know, might actually have the ingredients to build muscle. I have to eat more to do it, though, and I don't have the money to do that. So already, I already had the budget for this, and I'm surprised it's working. So let me know what you guys think. If I could really, if you really think that could be possible, if you could build muscle of a subway the same way I'm losing weight. I mean, I don't think this could be a fluke because 51 pounds of lost weight is not a fluke. So maybe the opposite could be true. Maybe you could build muscle off a subway. But I won't know that unless I, until I become famous off a subway. And if I don't become famous off a subway and I get money, I'm probably not going to do it. It's because, well, why use Subway to gain muscle when I could just work out like I did before, eating regular chicken and stuff? Do I want to do it off a of Subway? Yeah, I'm kind of curious, but, well, Subway isn't sponsoring me, and I don't have the money right now. By the time when I do have the money, this would be like years in my past. So if you guys want me to do this, this is honestly time sensitive. Help me become famous by Subway. Get a little money or at least discounts from them so I can eat more than one sub a day. Then I go to the gym and I put my money in my office. Until then, I mean, unless you guys want to give me money to, to do it. If you guys actually donate to me to, to really test out for muscle, I will change it up. But until then, we're going to keep on the Subway diet. With that in mind, guys, it's the Subway Challenge Day 95. I know I know, I got to fix the days. In any case, guys, this is Lena Pack signing out.